Ever notice how you keep dating the same person with a different face? Or how every workplace has that one person who pushes all your buttons? Well, here's the sobering truth. You're not unlucky. Your brain is literally seeking out toxic people on purpose and it thinks it's helping you. Hi, I'm Gregory, founder of The Brain Academy. Think about your relationship history for a second. The narcissist after the narcissist, right? The unavailable person after the unavailable person. The friend who takes and takes and takes. You tell yourself, never again and then there you are again well you're not weak you're, you're not broken and you definitely don't love too much or, or whatever bs someone told you it's not you it's your brain your brain is running a program that seeks out familiar dysfunction like a heat-seeking missile and until you understand why you're going to keep repeating this pattern even when you know better especially when you know better. So here's what nobody tells you about toxic relationships. They feel like home. And I mean that literally. Your brain has something called an implicit memory system and everything you experienced in childhood before you could even form conscious memories that got coded as normal. That was emotionally unavailable? Well, that feels like love to your brain. Mom was critical and controlling. That's what care looks like. Chaos, walking on eggshells, emotional roller coasters. Your nervous system goes, oh yes, this is familiar. We survived this before. This must be safe. Your brain literally cannot tell the difference between familiar and good. It just knows familiars equals survival. That's crazy, right? But wait, it gets worse. You know that instant chemistry you feel with certain people? That spark, that magnetic, magical pull. Well, that's not love, my friend. That's recognition. Your nervous system is recognizing old patterns. So think about it. You meet someone and within minutes you're hooked. Your body lights up, your, your heart races. You can't stop thinking about them. You call it chemistry, but it's actually your trauma responding to their trauma. It's your wounds recognizing their wounds. A healthy, secure person? Eh, they feel boring to you. No spark spark, no excitement, because your brain doesn't recognize healthy. It recognizes dysfunction and it confuses that recognition with attraction. Here's where it gets really interesting. You're not just attracted to toxic people, you're actually auditioning them. Your brain is subconsciously testing everyone you meet to see if they'll play the role you need them to play. So you ask certain questions, you share certain stories, behave in certain ways that basically put out a casting call. Seeking emotionally unavailable person to recreate my childhood abandonment. And here's the kicker. Healthy people fail the audition. They don't respond to your tests the way you need them to, so your brain rejects them and keeps looking for someone who'll play the part perfectly. Oh, but Gregory, surely I'd learn from experience, right? Wrong. Your brain has this thing called confirmation bias. And when it comes to relationships, it's brutal. Your brain literally filters out information that doesn't match what it expects. The person showed you red flags on day one, your brain deleted them. They told you exactly who they were. Your brain rewrote the story. You're not seeing them. You're seeing who you need them to be. And when they inevitably act toxic, your brain goes, see, this is exactly what relationships are like. This is what I expected. The prophecy fulfills itself every single time. Here's the thing that really gets me. Your brain thinks it's healing every toxic person you attract, your brain sees them as an opportunity to finally get it right, to finally get the love you didn't get as a kid. If you can just love them enough, maybe this unavailable person will finally choose you. Maybe this critical person will finally approve. Maybe this chaotic person will finally calm down. Your brain is trying to complete unfinished business from decades ago. It's not trying to hurt you, it's trying to repair you, but you can't heal childhood wounds with adult relationships. That's not how it works. You're just adding new wounds on top of old ones. But here's the good news. Once you see the pattern, you can break it. Not by trying harder or loving better, but by understanding that attraction to dysfunction, well, it's not a character flaw. It's just outdated programming. Your brain learned what love looks like before you could even talk. Of course it's confused, of course it seeks the wrong people. But here's the thing about brains. They can learn new patterns. You can literally teach your nervous system what healthy feels like. You can learn to recognize green flags instead of red ones. But first, you, you, you have to stop trusting your attraction. That chemistry you feel, that's your trauma talking. 
Listen to it, it's telling you who to avoid. Look, you're not attracting toxic people because you're broken or, or because you deserve it. You're attracting them because your brain is running an old program that equates dysfunction with love. The good news, programs can be updated. So what type of toxic person do you keep attracting? The unavailable one, the narcissist, the victim? Drop it in the comments below. And if you're ready to dig deeper into these patterns and actually retire them, check us out at brainacademy.com. Brain out. Sharpen your mind.